Hey guys, Lee and Jen, wait, Lee here, theme park Ohana. Jen will be tagging along shortly. Um, we had, thought we had a lot more time in between our stroller deliveries today and they hit us up as we got to the Pop Century Resort. So Jen quickly is going to go deliver. I'm gonna start the vlog. She will be joining me at some point for this adventure that we've done a few times. Um, it's just, we're gonna walk around Pop Century, kind of show you guys it's 2021. It's that time of year where we start doing more resort vlogs. Um, please follow the adventure and let's see what is happening here at Disney's Pop Century. And Ashley, thank you for the mask. I stole it from myself. Now, holy magical express. While I was filming the outro, there was two more buses there. Or intro, outro, intro, intro. While I was filming the intro, there was four magical express buses. Two have already departed. They're loading up people to take them back. I guess these are the tragical expresses that go to the right when you're coming in for vacation. They bring you on this uh, left side here. Those are the magical ones. These are the tragical ones where they take you this is where you end your vacation. Worst part of every vacation me and Jennifer ever had with the family was taking that magical express. Back to the airport, back to New Jersey, back to the cold weather, which in New Jersey today, it is snowing. There's like a nor'easter. Don't miss it. Don't miss it one bit. But this is gonna be gone soon. The magical and tragical express by the end of 2022 will be an afterthought. Today's adventure is a check-in. This is where you guys arrive. This is where, um, if you do take the Magical Express, it drops you off. If you drive, I'm sure, much like us when we did drive, I would pull into this area here. Jen would take over the driving duties. I would walk inside, check in, and get our weight for our room. All that stuff I do not miss. I know, I do kind of miss it. I mean, there was just so much excitement in any Disney trip and I'm sure you guys get it. Coming to Disney is awesome. But this is where it all starts, when you're checking into your resort. And sometimes you get here early, you're just dropping your bags off heading to the parks. But sometimes you get lucky. And I know this now through the stroller business, sometimes they already got the rooms. So let's let's go let's go wander around Pop Century. Just like that. There goes another Magical Express off to the airport. Here's the Mirrors one. I'm sure they're gonna start phasing out these Disney ones. They'll probably use the mirror ones a lot more as they phase them out of operation. But when you arrive to Pop Century, this is an iconic scene. It's like a 57 Chevy golf cart. That's a great photo opportunity. So if your room is not ready, this is where they drop you. And right over to the right of the main doors, it's a luggage assistance or the, um, the check-in area where you can drop your luggage, head to the parks, have some fun, come back. You have to come back obviously and get your luggage, but 
If you're here early and your room's not ready, you can drop it with those guys and head to some awesome memories. Now this is easily one of my favorite lobbies in all the Disney resorts. It's so themed towards over the years, the decades, the decades that we grew up in, um, the, the 50s, 60s, 70s, it doesn't matter what age you are, there's something that in, the, in this lobby you're gonna look at and go, wow, like, I had that, or that's something I did, that was something I was into, like it hit you in the fields, but this, this is where the kids can come. Right when you're checking in, they got a place to wait. Got some awesome artwork here. A vintage TV. And I, this is what I like the best. Who didn't like to play hopscotch? This is awesome. I love all the different colors. It's really cool. Now it's quite busy right now. It is a Sunday. This is usually a checkout day, but I feel like a lot of people are arriving. There's so much art behind the check-in area. But this stuff on the right side is what hits hit you right in the fields, like multiplication cards. I definitely had those. Flintstones, lunchbox, dominoes. Now this is cool. I don't, I've been here a lot. This is the first time I've noticed this. They have a Disneyland monorail game. I wonder what that entails. Does anybody own this game? Post in the comments below. These are great. Man on the Moon. They have an Apollo series pin, uh, coin set. And this is some of the iconic movie. Oh, look at this. Oh, to have that Spaceman action figure as a child, I would have loved that. And look, there's a little, a little spaceship. And then we come through the years. There's a, a, a carry 8-track player. Look at this. There's an 8-track player that has John Denver in there. Rod Stewart, John Denver, Burt Bacharach. Man, tell me that don't hit you in the, in the make you feel old. Now this little window is my childhood. Ninja Turtles. He-Man. Oh, He-Man. I was a huge He-Man. I'm going to admit this to the world. I had a Cabbage Patch Kid. And I miss it. Actually, I kind of miss it. Oh, look. They got... Oh, they got Thundercats. They got Thundercats. They got the Simon game. Wow. The only thing... Oh, there's Trivial Pursuit. Oh, there it is. I was going to say, the only thing they're missing is the old... Like baseball, football, handheld games, the really, really bad ones in the beginning of electronics. Oh, those bring back some memories. I'm only filming this clip for my children. It's an Atari 2400 series. Oh my goodness. That was life. That was life when I was 10 years old. Oh, they got a Donkey Kong game, Asteroid Space Invaders. Wow, and there's the classic joystick. One button. A joystick and one button. You'd be like, hit another button. No, there was only one button. What do you mean, hit another button? There's one button. You can hit the button or not hit the button. Them's the choices. No, you can't watch Netflix on the Atari. Can you play it online with your friends? Yeah, you got the telephone. You called your friend up and told him to come over. Nintendo Game Boy, Pokemon. The original Power Rangers. Oh, all the fields right now. Look at the size of the old Game Boy games right there. <laughs> now, if you have a, what do are, what are they call the Game Boys? I don't even know what they call them, but they're way smaller than that. This is epic. Crock pot cooking. <laughs> and to the left, the where's the beef lady. <laughs> There's only one thing missing, and I thought they had it, and they don't. Oh, they got a Magnum PI card set. Ah, this is, oh, look, Miami Vice, A Team. They got an A Team card set, Hannibal. I love it when a plan comes together. What's it say? Well, it says, I love it when a plan comes together. And this is kind of what I was looking for the whole time. The Sony Walkman. Post in the comments below if you had a Sony Walkman. This, I had a, I had a yellow one. Looked nothing like this one. I had a yellow Sony Walkman. 
And I'll tell you, I'll tell you right now, I wore that thing out. That was everything to me, to pop a tape in there. Oh, this is all the fields. Look, there. one last one, one last one. Max Pedro. I lied, that wasn't the last one. Look, who had the see-through phone? <laughs> I know I did. And look, floppy disks. This is Max, Max, Max Hedrum. Oh, man. I can't even get into the resort and I'm all in the field. And who didn't have this? The, the, the cassette that would turn your cassette player in your car into something you could play music in your car. Crazy. Now, before I go any further, I'm going to wait for Jen. But, man, tell me that didn't take you, like, through a trip down memory lane all that stuff they have on this wall and I only showed you like five percent of what's hanging on this wall here at the um, lobby here at Pop Century it really takes you back it takes you back to your childhood it brings back all kinds of memories like stuff I forgot stuff I didn't even know I remembered so I hope it brings back a few memories for you guys because it definitely brought some memories back to me that's for sure. So Jen is gonna want a drink because we have our refillable mug that we buy every couple weeks and wanna do some shopping. So I'll wait for her to go over there. But sadness, no arcade. Now, I think I saw the arcade was open at Wilderness Lodge. Tell me I'm not crazy. I'm pretty sure I, I saw it open. I don't know, maybe I'm crazy. So as you come out of the back, we got uh, pedals to the right. This is where you walk around to the front where the check-in, if you want to drop your bags and stuff. I'm going to be hitting up pedals for a drink later. Not right this moment. But unlike Art of Animation, whose pool's down for refurbishment, Pop Century's pool is open. And it's very windy. We got a cold front coming through. I don't know how long we got until it gets a little crazy. The clouds aren't bad. They were bad earlier. I don't know. They keep rolling in and out. Like it gets dark and then it gets bright again. We'll see what happens. So there's so many iconic photo opportunities here at Disney's Pop Century Resort. Like here we got the the yo-yo, the, the Duncan Imperial yo-yo. In the background, you got a bowling pit. And I'll show you more of this stuff as we walk around, but there's so many really cool, like, if you are creative and you like Instagram, you can make, you could take some really cool pictures here at Disney's Pop Century Resort. And currently, the pool hours are 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. And this is the main pool, so you'll have lifeguards here from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. And again, there are many iconic photo opportunities here at Disney's Pop Century. This is like Play-Doh theme. Where you just got a little elephant and giraffe. And it says, the original Play-Doh modeling compound. So cool. And this over here is the 60s building. And it's totally themed to it with the, uh, the pedals. And you see right there, it says classic 60s. Same thing with the splash pad for the little guys. 10 to 10. You can enjoy the splash pad, but across from the Play-Doh, again, iconic. So directly across from the Play-Doh one is blue and a jungle themed experience where you could do all kinds of crazy photo opportunities. It's wild. Look who finally decided to join me. Thank you. Somebody's gotta work. You ditched me. You left me for dead. Somebody's gotta work. <laughs> but behind Jen is another. I've already been talking about all the epic photo opportunities here. This is a good one. Yeah, I love this one. That is a massive surfboard. Goofy's tall. Is Goofy really that tall? Probably. I can't remember. I don't know. I can't get close enough for a meet and greet to compare my height to his anymore. Yeah, we've kind of forget. No, he's, yeah, I guess in the meet and greets he was pretty tall. Yeah. Yeah. I guess it's accurate. Hey, there's no way he's getting in that Corvette. That's for sure. <laughs> Not unless it was a T-top or a convertible. Yeah. <laughs> He'd need to be poking his head out over the windshield. What do you eat? What are you eating there? Oh, that's classy, Jen. Thanks. Being all, are we going to insert this again? No. Being all fancy. Look, that's classy Jen over there. 
Uh, try to be all fancy. So we're about halfway through this resort tour, and I'm trying to talk Jen. What? I can't see it on my glasses on. Because she's playing. I don't, I'm playing a game on my phone. Yeah, that's what she does. That's her thing. But we're living our best Disney life on this bench, oh, honestly. Yeah. We've been sitting here for like half an hour. But I feel like I'd be doing Disney an injustice if while we're here doing a tour of Pop Century. I don't ride the Skyliner. Hi, Felicia. Are you you're not coming with me? No. <laughs> it's, no. it's gonna be fun. It's really windy. I will be right here. It's really windy today, guys. Jen. Just think of it, it'd be like a, a ride experience. All right, I guess I'm riding it alone. I'm gonna take a quick trip down the old dusty skyline. Thanks for leaving me do it alone. Peace out. So whether you stay at Disney's Pop Century or Art of Animation, right in the middle on the bridge, and I'm sure this is common knowledge, but I'm throwing it in here anyway, just because I'm trying to be detailed, is the Skyliner Station. This will take you towards Caribbean Beach, um, from there, you can go to Hollywood Studios, Epcot, Riviera, many destinations. Well, I got my own car. I'm by myself because Jen is really, really not a fan of the Skyliner. And two of the best parts is the takeoff, which is woo happening right now. And when we come back in for our landing. Now, the really cool thing. It's the awesome views you get of Pop Welcome Century the Disney Skyliner and Art Disney of Animation. Pop Century Resort and Disney and this Art part here Resort. where you come in to Art of Animation and Pop Century, you're very low to the water. Like, I don't know, what, 40 feet above the water? It's pretty cool. I'm just living my best Disney life. <sighs> if only Jen enjoyed, Jen enjoyed this. I love the Skyliner. What do you guys think of the Skyliner? I'm sure many of you have ridden it. Put us in the comments below what you think. I love it. It's so relaxing and enjoyable. I do it all day. So Caribbean Beach is the main transfer station because here is like a hub. So if you go to the right, you go to uh, Riviera and Epcot. If you go that way, you go to Hollywood Studios. And to the left, which is where I'm going, I'm going to be heading back towards Order Animation and Pop Century Resort. And time for takeoff number two. I'm heading my way back to Jen. And this could not have worked out better because the first car I was in was like this one, where it has the artwork with, uh, it, it kind of limits your view because of the vinyl. And now I'm in one with no vinyl. So the view is, is pretty spectacular. So. So I think it's because the way the wind's blowing, we got a cold front coming through. I didn't have a lot of ventilation heading towards Hollywood Studios. Now heading back towards Art of Animation and Pop Century, the air is flowing. Um, it's, I'm actually a little chilly. It's it's because it's a cooler day. But there is air ventilation. I know a lot of people are like worry about uh, is it just like a, you know you're getting cooked in these things? No, there's there's airflow. There's definitely airflow. I guess some days when it's windy and the direction of the wind that's going, it could be a little different, but there's definitely airflow. So pretty cool. The announcer just said this is the only floating uh, station here at Disney World that's actually on the water. Now, I don't think that it's actually floating, but it is on the water and we're going to come in hot. This is my favorite part. Wee! Oh, we hit the brakes. And I have arrived back to my beautiful wife. Houston. We have a problem. That is where I left Jennifer. And she is not currently there. My hopes is she's using the restroom right there. One of my favorite restrooms on Disney property, by the way. I don't have my cell phone. And I don't know if she remembers that I forgot my cell phone in the car. So this could get interesting. So when you lose your wife, what do you do? I'll tell you what you do. You go to pedals. The full side bar here at um, Disney's Pop Century Resort. And I got myself a little banana cabana. 
I hope she finds me. The crazy thing is I forgot my phone in the car. I have no idea where she is. This is the worst we lost each other ever. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to walk all the way back where I was. But for now, I'm gonna sit here and sip on this cocktail. That's what I'm gonna do and hope, hope she finds me. Oh wow, this drink is amazing. Yes, expensive at $14, and I already tore up the pineapple, but it has like coconut rum in it. Oh, I never had a cabana banana, a cabana banana before. My one of my best friends, Katie, would absolutely love this drink. I wonder if she's ever had it. Have you guys had the banana cabana here at Petals Poolside Bar? It's delicious. That is for the children. Do you know me? All right, one spin. Left, Left foot, foot yellow. yellow. Somebody's gonna have to spin it again. You're gonna have to spin it again. Oh lord. Left foot red. Colored one. Is that red? Yes. Wait. No. Nope. Left, left. left foot. This. You can't play by this. Yes. It's not fair. What's not? You didn't play Twister with me. Sorry, I don't do Twister. I don't bet. I don't know if anybody knows this. Playing Twister alone, not a good not a good place in life. Zero out of ten. Zero stars. Don't recommend. Uh, I wouldn't even give it a half a star. Well, I said zero, so. Well, I'm saying I would at least give it a half a star. I did put one foot on something. <laughs> Jen! <coughs> Are you dying back there? Eating your chips? I inhaled a potato chip. <coughs> it's the big wheel. It's the biggest... This is probably the biggest big wheel on the planet. Probably. If my legs were it's like just a roadside attraction. If my legs were just a little longer, I'd be riding this all over this place. Or no, I'd probably get kicked out, wouldn't I? Mm-hmm. No fun. Why are you always the fun police? I don't know, because I'm mean. You are. I know. And people love you. It's because I'm mean. I'm relatable. Because you're mean, you're relatable? <laughs> okay. They just pick Post in the comments below if there's any it. truth to that. <laughs> Is she mean and relatable? Please, please post in the comments below. I can't wait to see these. <laughs> but they also have, Jen, the biggest, creepiest soccer dudes. What do you call this? Foosball? Foosball. Look at them. They don't even have eyeballs. I feel like it's staring into my soul. Do you feel like your soul is just stolen? Mm-hmm. By the soccer guy? Sure. They're not a redhead. <laughs> Are you just entertaining me? Yes. Uh. I'm so tired. <laughs> Jennifer. Me. We already discussed this. I already showed it. Well, we talked about it once you finally got here because you left me here for dead. What are you talking about? The, the clear phone. Oh, yeah. I had one of those. Yeah. I think everybody did. But did you have... No. The Mickey rotary phone. No, but I want one. But we don't have a house line, so it's going to be useless. Yeah. Well, we can still have, like, have it there. Yeah. We can pretend to call <laughs> oh, people. I'm going to make this vlog so much worse. Jen! Lee! I just want to grab that phone, and you know what I'm going to say. How do no. you not know what I'm going to say? I have no idea. Imagine me grabbing the phone, pulling it to my ear. What? Marty called. Oh my god, Once you. changes. Nobody even knows what that's about. I do! So oh. this is for me. So that's kind of cool. At both ends of building 10, there is a twister board. So there's actually two different twister games here. Wait. Lee's not playing again. No, wait. Oh, what are you doing now? There's two twister spots. And at each twister spot, nobody will play with me. Oh, stinks to be you. Life just is cool. Jen! Lee. You're holding the camera. I didn't even have to find him this time. It's probably going to be super shaky because I'm holding the camera. Yeah, what do you say? Disney Dogs. My life. And their names are Jen and Lee. No. Yes. It's Rebecca and Walt. No. Ugh. So again, and actually our buddy Mike's with us and he took a picture, which is going to be an epic cover photo. We'll pop it in here as well. But this is iconic. Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head. I hope you laugh at our silly personalities as we try to do the same poses. <laughs> so we're just sitting here 
shooting the shooting the breeze. I like that they actually updated the map so Yeah, the, the only thing I don't like is all I see is like smoking stickers. You can still like smoke? all, I guess if you go by the lake, you can smoke wherever you want. It's like along the lake. <laughs> so if you're a smoker, go to the lake. There's plenty of smoking spots. But our buddy who's hanging out with us today just noticed the Rubik's Cube here, right? Everybody had a Rubik's Cube. And then there's this Rubik's Cube. Jen, what's the difference between the two Rubik's Cubes? The one on the right is finished. That the one's one on finished. The left is what mine always looks like. We've never owned a Rubik's Cube that has looked like that. I mean, technically, I may have pulled the stickers off of one once and made it look like that, but I didn't truly no. beat it. No, this is what our Rubik's Cubes look like. Yes. I've never finished a Rubik's Cube. Yeah, me neither. Like I said, if I peeled the stickers. Yeah, and look, at that one's pristine. It's perfect. And well, actually, we have a friend who's a magician. He's really, he could do them like in a ridiculous. I'm going to add like a little clip here of Quan. Okay. Our friend Quan. We'll be able to find one. Yeah. He can blindfolded do a Rubik's Cube in like 30 seconds. He's ridiculous. He's a yeah. magician. He's just, a, he loves Disney. Oh, yeah. He really loves Disney. So he doesn't even know. He's actually, um, he, he, I think he, he's going to be on the upcoming season, I believe, of America's Got Talent. He's trying. He's trying. He like made it through the first round. We were supposed to hang out with him last time he was know, here and, and he was everything fell through. But he's ridiculous talented oh, yeah. and he's a Disney fan and he, I, he doesn't and even know that he doesn't even know this is happening. <laughs> no. <laughs> what? Oh my god. So here we are. Oh, you're supposed to be taking a picture. Oh, wait, that's going to have to wait. Jen is Jen's being very bossy right now, but here we are. Here's R Roger Rabbit. Nope. What? Roger. No? Terrible? Yes. Not even passable? No. All right, so as we pan down, I don't even know what this means because Jen's seen the movie and I don't even remember the movie. What are you doing? It's a throwback to the old thing in Hollywood studio. Uh, do I have to take a picture? I don't think we... If I take a picture, you could edit it to look more like what it's supposed to look like in the movie, I think. Yeah, and people all around us are staring at you like you're dead. Because you won't take the darn picture, so I can't get up. Jen. Lee. You think your picture was funny, right? Okay. This is, this is what I'm going to do. Yeah. L. O. L. No, you're not funny. What are you doing? I'm gonna call my number. Eight, six, seven, five, three. Wait, oh, oh, no. oh, nine. Oh, Disney ruined it. There's no O. <laughs> it's a zero, not an O. No but there, oh my goodness, there is no zero. <laughs> oh, wait, there's a, you have to do it up here. Oh. All right, we figured it out. Zero. Nine, and you lost your phone. Oh, Fred. What is wrong with us? Why do people? Why do? Uh, you're, then you're done. Why do people watch us? I don't know. I don't know. Thank high you, though. High quality entertainment. The high quality entertainment. You're welcome. You almost saw Jen die doing eight five seven six three zero nine. Eight six seven five three zero nine. Oh, I don't even know my number. Fur. I was talking about this. Look behind you. This is what I had. What I one did you have? Did you have like a lame black one? I had the all black one. This is what I had. I had an all yellow Sony Walkman. And I don't remember saying sports though. But I did have a yellow Walkman. Maybe it did say. This one had like a shock case on it. Oh, like Jen! It came with FM stereo. Ooh. That was groundbreaking. No comment. You're not impressed at all. Nope. But welcome to our stupid, silly life. And you think you're got some oh, crazy very close to me. Ah, extreme close up. <laughs> we are really silly all the time. And Jen, look behind you. There's a floppy disk. I never had I never had a laptop that old. We did. No, we didn't. Not that bad. No, not you. Me. Oh, you did? Like, you had a laptop that looked personally. like that? Personally, my parents did. Did it have uh, Mickey ears? No, I didn't. Well, then you weren't living life right. We were not. So, Jen. Lee. Classic 
theme park Ohana. We were hanging out with our buddy Mike. And hours have passed, and now it's nighttime. Yeah, it's uh, it's well past dusk. And you know what's awesome? Yeah, it's 6:30 p.m. <laughs> That's not what's awesome. Mike never rode the Skyliner. Skyliner, and we're gonna we're gonna post his link and I below. Don't ride the Skyliner. Yes. So me and Mike, and he never rode the Skyliner. Got to ride it together. Got to ride it together, and it was great. We had a great time. You know what's also pretty awesome? Right above you is the Tramp. And across from him at Pop Century is Lady. You can't see her. Though. It's the jukebox pool. Jukebox. Jukebox. J U K E. I said it wrong. Yes. Do I say I say things wrong? Lots of times. I'm gonna select A1. What are you picking? I don't know. I'm way too far away. I can't read that. We should actually go over there and look and yes. pick actual songs. But uh, this is a good spot though, because now you can actually see the tramp. And if I spin around, you'll see Lady. And I have an idea for a picture that I'll insert. That's Lady's house. That's Lady's house? Yeah. I thought that was just a building. No, it's a dog house. How come the tramp doesn't have a house? No, because he's the tramp. That's not fair. I'm really confused. Why? There's bowling pins. Yeah, technically, I actually think this is not, I think this is the bowling pin pool because the pool is actually shaped like a bowling pin. Oh, it is a bowling pin pool. I guess it just has a jukebox. I and mean, it's like, cause look, that's Jen, look what's right here. Yeah. There's a 15 pound ball. That's what I like to use, a 15 pounder. I guess it's a jukebox building. Wait, what, what weight ball do you use when you bowl? I don't know, it's been like a million years since I bowled. Ah, uh, we if really. I pick up. We really need to get to Splitsville. <gasps> Maybe when Kevin and Sarah come, we'll go to Splitsville. We talked about it. Maybe we should really make it happen. You're dancing away. Hey now, hey now, my boyfriend's back. Now, theme park Ohana's back. Hey now, theme park Ohana's back. What? You have no idea what I just saw. The bowling shoes? All right, what's my favorite sport? Horseshoes? Okay, so it's not horseshoes. What's my favorite sport? I don't know. Hockey, football, basketball. Hockey. Okay. Wait. 66. Stop touching stuff. Okay. Mario Lemieux. Okay. Is that Wayne Gretzky? Yes. Oh my gosh, I got it right. That was a total guess. I'm so stupid because it doesn't make any sense because they're on the back of the They're just shoes. the sizes of bowling shoes. With two of the greatest hockey players on the planet ever to live are basically immortalized here in bowling shoes and people don't even realize it. And that's not what they were going for either. 99, 66, the great one, the other great one. All right, so we are at the jukebox and we're trying to pick songs. I got mine and I can't believe Jen is... If Jen doesn't pick the one I'm looking at, I'm gonna be. There's two real songs. On there. There's two real songs. Yeah. But there's one that I think. Let's see one and see two. Let's see one and see two. C one is the Ballad of Davy Crockett, and C two is the Mickey Mouse Club. I cannot believe you wouldn't pick E eleven. That's the one I do pick. I was just making a point that. Oh, the two real songs. Two oh, is E eleven your song? Like if you were gonna go, go ahead, hit it, E. E. You gotta hit 10 and then one. Is that how it works? E. No, wouldn't it be one twice? I don't think I can pick my phone. All right. Yep. Not so left. B. Seven. And that is Bodybuilder Bop. By Dale and the Dumbbells? Yeah, nah. Oh my god, I wanna see the words to G7 and G8. Oh. Stevie in the States made Alaska if she'd like to be Jen. the 49th state. And Hawaii, I'm fine. The 50 state hula. No, look over here. Over where? Over here. She's holding a bully trophy and in parentheses. What are you talking about? Right there. Oh, D4. See, a, na a number would have helped. Uh, D4, she's holding a bully trophy and not me. The 10 pin tenors. I can't take you anywhere. Nope, you can't. I, I'm praying they don't have your jeans. 
They didn't this morning. I looked at Oh, you already were here shopping? You were scooping it out for the mom jeans? Everywhere I go. Oh, you. You. Wow, this shirt kind of looks like your shoes. Wait a sec. Wait a second. Please. No. Don't sulk. Sad. Look at you. So th that is no. You know what it is? What? It's obnoxious. So it's me. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. That's a gen hat. I don't know if you could pull that off, babe. I don't think I could either. So we're trying not to spend any money because we spend a lot of money. This week. Yes. We, Disney is making a fortune off of us lately. Oh, yeah. Look at that hat. This hat is the rainbow pride hat. And Kay would want everything to do with that. Although, $27.99. I don't like. Although, I don't like that it's white. I, well, I don't like the. It's not firm. Yeah. It's all wrinkly and disheveled. And if I'm buying a new hat, I want it to be pristine and, and firm. Oh. <laughs> Jen. I don't know if these are new or not, but I so love shiny. the Snow White. Look yeah, at the Snow epic. White. And what are these, 30? $27.99. That's actually not bad. Not There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 Disney princesses. Yeah, that's one of the bigger sets, too. It's usually For, You like... said $27.99. Yeah. So 11 princesses, $27.99. That, that's the bargain of the century. Will you stop touching stuff? Put it back. No, no. Wait, let me take a page out of your book. No. But Jen, it's there. I don't care, put it back. Uh, Jen, that leave by me. No. Well, I do declare. I declare you need to show me the fan. Okay. Other side, that's the back side. I'm on it's magic it's like Kingdom i've never done this sunset. before this is a really pretty one this is another one of the new ones one i haven't seen before and they are 9.99 okay cannot know this exists i do declare it wasn't funny the first time oh oh my it's gosh not funny it's amazing the second time. it says spill it and it has the mats open it all the way because i feel like you're missing something uh. it's the man hatter in a teacup and he's spilling the tea that's amazing Toddler. I don't like you anymore. Too bad. Is this because I always say no to you? Yes. How does it feel? So Lee pointed something out about this hat, and it's actually quite true. It looks very much like something Justin Scard yes, would we wear. We are huge fans of Justin Scard. Can you, like, I don't have a hand free. Can you flip it, see no. how much it is? Is it adult? It looks youth. It's youth. They're all youth. Okay. How but much is that one? Look at the design. Uh, the youth is 25. But this yeah, really looks cool. like totally something he would wear. Yes. That's nice, but they're not pink. But Jen, these are adorable. But we don't have any boy babies. Janie's a girl. We gotta find them in I pink know, to buy but them. Look how cute. They're so little and they're so cute. I, these are the cutest crocs. I think they were more expensive than mine. I know they are. They're 50 bucks for this. Because <laughs> they and light look, up. It has a, like all. I kind of wish mine lit up though. <gasps> they're pretty epic. Wow. These are adorable. I almost want to just buy them and put them on a shelf. No. <laughs> What's going on lately? It's like I want to spend all the money now and you're telling me no. It's like Bizarro World. Yeah, we are in Bizarro World right now. Jen! Lee. Oh, it's breezy. Oh, that is amazing. I should let my hair down. Wait. Wait, wait we gotta we gotta enter that Nicolas Cage <gasps> clip. I don't know what he's um, about. I'm putting it in. I don't I'm know what he's talking in. about. You're filming this guy. So we had a great Afternoon. We've been here all day. So long. Like we had all these plans and then we sat over by the pool and never moved. Yeah. Lee rode the Skyliner twice. Our buddy Mike came and hung out with us. Yeah. You know, we talked life. Hey, we, yeah, yeah. Mike never rode the Skyliner before. I know. So crazy. I got to. You got two rides in one day. I got two rides in one day and I got to break him in. Yeah. And he liked it. My dad, Much maybe my dad will ride it with you. me when he comes down. You don't like the skyline. I do not, and it's you're so close to Flurry. Yeah, look, there's Jen. <laughs> Extreme close up. <laughs> anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is our 2021 spring resort tour of Pop Century Resort. Yes. Um, I love this resort. I do, it's fun. Yeah. There's a lot going on. It was fun. Yes. 
If you guys like these videos, please click that subscribe button, tap the like, and ring that notification bell so you always know when a new video is headed your way. Thank you so much for watching. And, and now, now we're, we're on, on to, to the, the next, next adventure. adventure. Why did you say it like that? Today's video brought to you by Orlando for Families. For amazing prices and even better customer service on all of your stroller rental needs for your Orlando vacation, visit them at the website listed below, www.orlandoforfamilies.com. Use the promo code OHANA to save 15% off of their already competitive prices.